I'm working full-time as a teacher in Norway. I was absolutely hooked by the crop circles in 1996. That's when I started looking into it. And I came down here to England to see the first crop circles here in 1999. And after that, I've, I've pretty much been here every year. Um, let's see. Um, I'll start with telling you about the only crop circle I ever discovered from the air. Uh, I am flying to take a few aerials uh, when I can, just for the thrill of it. Um, but once in 2008, I was flying to photograph a crop circle near West Woods, to the south of West Woods. Then I saw there was something in the field to the, the north of West Woods, and um, we flew over there, and it was this formation. And um, I think I was certainly the first one to see it from the air, and I might have been the first one in it as well. And looking at the photographs afterwards, I got this strange feeling, you know, that there were four eyes looking at me, and I, 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 this sentence came to me, under four eyes with the crop circles. Is that an expression in English as well, under four eyes with someone? It means sort of an intimate conversation in, uh, in Norwegian. Um, so, um, sometimes, um, you know, when people ask me all the time when I hold lectures in Norway, they ask me who are making the who or what are making the crop circles and, and how and, and why. And um, sometimes I'm saying that if we ever get the answer to that question, who or what is making the crop circles and, and why, um, I think we will have totally forgotten the question uh, by that time because if we get that, if or when we get that answer, I think our way of looking upon ourselves and the universe and our place in the universe will totally have changed. Will have changed so much that questions like that will be, seem uh, silly in a way. So um, I have the feeling that the, the crop circles uh, uh, are there in a way to show us that we are something else than more than we think and the universe is different than we think and our place in the universe is different than we think and far, far more greater than we can imagine now. And um, I'll get back to that a little bit at the end of the talk. So in, um, in 2010, I came out with a book in Norwegian uh, because everyone was asking me when I was lecturing in Norway, isn't there anything we can read about the crop circles in Norwegian? So I decided to, well actually I came out with a small book first in 2004, but it, that was much too small and simple, people wanted to read more, so I came out with this bigger book, uh, which is actually this one, in 2010. And then I realized with all the work I'd put into it that it is a bit silly that it's only available to the Scandinavian uh, readers, and I decided to have it published in English, and I actually found a publisher, Wessex Books. So that was very nice. Um, the reason why I'm showing you the Norwegian cover is for the crop circle that is on that cover. I insisted that we had that one on the cover at the time, but the English publisher wanted a newer one. But when I came, that crop circle was in the field next to Windmill Hill in, in I think it arrived the 30th of June 2006. And I was then still in Norway and I saw this wonderful formation um, on the internet and I thought, wow, I'm really looking forward to go and see that one when I go to England in a few days. I came over in, in the beginning of July like I normally do and then it was cut. It had been cut after only, I think, two days after it came. And I was so, it was so sad and I stayed in, in Avery Froslo also, so it was close to where I was staying, and I went up to visit it in any way, and I sat in the sad remains of it, the stubble on the ground there, and I made sort of a, a, a prayer or a meditation, and I said, please, couldn't we have this one again, please? I would so much like <laughs> to, to see it. And then uh, a couple of days passed, <laughs> and this happened at Savannah Forest. And I was, I was really amazed, that, because I, it has the same components, doesn't it? And I thought, wow, it was, was sort of an answer. But then only a couple of days after that, this came as well. 
at Alban. And um, then I was quite convinced that, yes, thank you. I was allowed to, to, to really experience and see this pattern for real anyway, not only on a photograph. And it is, um, these, these signs were referred to as wormhole designs. And uh, there was a lot of, of we, we talked a lot about it back then in 2006. Why are they repeating these wormholes designs this year? And um, I don't know if any of you have seen the film Contact, based on the novel by, by um, uh, what's his name again? Uh, Carl Sagan, yes. It's a wonderful book, and, and the film is amazing. Uh, it is about... Uh, uh, a signal coming in, you know, being, being um, received here at Earth from, from, from beings in outer space. And uh, the, the, main, the main role is, is uh, the main character is then to, to travel out into the universe because there are instructions in this signal to build a big machine. And we assume it is uh, uh, to send people, being, you know, it's to, uh, its function is to send people out into the universe in a capsule. And so this uh, main character uh, is, uh, is doing that, but from our perspective, she goes nowhere. The whole thing, the whole machine is a big failure. Uh, nothing happens. Uh, the, the capsule doesn't go anywhere. And, uh, but when she comes back, she's a scientist, she's an astronomer. She's telling about the most amazing experiences. She went for a long journey through the universe, through wormholes. And uh, Everyone is just, you know, shaking their heads, looking at each other and saying, okay, now she's gone nuts. So uh, she then has to realize as a scientist that she's made some kind of spiritual journey or maybe, um, maybe uh, a, a journey in, in, other, in other dimensions or other, in, a, in another existence in a way. And uh, it, it makes uh, life real tough for her, but she's, she sticks to what she's experienced. And uh, uh, finally, they, they sort of believe her and start sending other people also on the same journey. And that is the, the start for humanity, a, a new beginning for humanity in a way. So I, I sort of feel that applies to the crop circles as well. You know, that, that they start sending us on a journey that we cannot, we cannot really figure out what it is if we only look at, uh, uh, at the crop circles in a physical manner, trying to, st that is, it is interesting, studying them on the ground, looking at the patterns and, and so on, try to figure it out. But there is something, there is something uh, else going on as well with us when we look into the crop circles. And, and I'll, at the end of the lecture, I'll read a little passage from the book, and so we'll get back to that. Uh, even one more, wormhole design appeared in 2006. Or at least that's, it, it, they weren't as typical as, as the first one, the first ones, but everyone assumed they, it was a wormhole design as well. And then I stumbled across, as I was writing my book, I stumbled across uh, um, a drawing, a, des a design that looked very much like this, and that, it, that was a four-dimensional forest I was told. A thorus, uh, uh, we'll get back to that. This is the thorus, uh, a, a donut. Um, I, I saw that drawing in a book, and not this one, uh, but I went to a website. Uh, I, I finally found it on the internet, and it turned out that this design had to do with a thorus, because if we try to imagine that we can creep inside the thorus, inside a donut, it will look a little bit like this. And if that is folded out, made flat, that's the design you get. This is from a, a website about, a, a mathematical website called Brown, um, Mathematics Brown dot, um, edu, education, I think. It's, it's uh, I refer to it in my book. So that I was very amazed, this was a few years afterwards, but that is probably what that pattern was referring to. And I'm no mathematician, so I, I cannot really explain to you what a four-dimensional thorus is, but maybe someone can pick this up and, and look at it a bit closer. But it certainly reminds, it reminds a lot, doesn't it? It is quite similar to this one. But there's something in the middle here, uh, a diamond shape, which is not in the crop circle. 
And then on the 15th of August, this design arrived at Hampton Hill.